With the recent update to Halo Infinite, there is now like a cheat code to grind through XP even faster in Halo Infinite and it's way easier than ever before. And honestly, it kind of feels like cheating. So if you want to know how to complete your challenges the easiest way possible and grind through XP to get to all 30 tiers of the Winter Battle Pass, make sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So Bot Bootcamp has recently returned back in Halo Infinite. Now I'm sure you've probably seen other videos of people talking about this on YouTube, but there's one thing I think a lot of people missed out about that is how easy it is to grind XP within this mode. And it's not so monotonous as it was previously. On Bot Bootcamp down here, if you go to Game List, they added in Strongholds on top of Slayer. They had previously Oddball, King of the Hill, C one flag CTF even, which is kind of crazy on the one map that would actually be useful on launch site and Arena CTF along with Attrition. So we got like a good amount of variety here to play around with with Bot Bootcamp. So it's actually kind of fun to jump in and just casually play Halo again. Well, the reason why playing Bot Bootcamp feels like a cheat code for XP is because it actually deals out a good amount of XP for playing this mode and you complete your challenges in Bot Bootcamp. And even though you only receive 50 XP for just playing a match, but you also guarantee to get on the winning team pretty much every single time. Oftentimes I'm top 50% of my team, and oftentimes I even do get the MVP, which gives me 200 XP pretty dang easy, and you can actually complete challenges on top of that. For example, I had a challenge of getting X amount of kills with an assault rifle. It didn't mention anything about PvP, so I jumped into a game and just started shooting everybody with an assault rifle, and guess what? It completed the challenge. And the way it deals out match XP seems a bit odd, where like I played one game where I joined in progress and still received a full 200 XP for completing the game, and I did nothing on purpose to make sure if I was getting the XP properly. And then the next game I played, I you know spray down with the assault rifle and I only got 150 XP because it didn't give me the MVP as I didn't really grab the ball a whole lot. As you can see on the stats here was an oddball arena on live fire lasted four and a half minutes which also is a really big key aspect of this guys the games are super fast in bot arena and I finished top score on my team but I didn't receive the MVP for whatever reason. Could have been a bug glitch or could it be the fact that I didn't have as much ball time as the person right below me did. But on this match I did get the MVP XP award so it's kind of glitch because I said the attrition on Catalyst, I, it's only four minutes long, which is very crucial when it comes to grinding XP, guys. And I literally did nothing on purpose to make sure that I was getting the XP properly. And well, in this one, I did get MVP, even though I literally did nothing. So I think it's a little inconsistent. It could just been like a one-off bug or something like that that could have happened for me. But they pretty much just give you 200 XP for just playing bot bootcamp every time. And that's not a guaranteed when it comes to playing ranked player versus player modes where you're guaranteed 150 XP for playing the game, but it's up to your performance to finish top 50 to win the game and get MVP to get those extra XP points. Plus, you can complete challenges that don't require PvP in the title of the description. You can complete challenges and they're super easy to grind out your challenges super fast. So I know I had a previous video talking about like how to grind XP best in the game, but that was before Bot Bootcamp was in here. Now Bot Bootcamp probably is the best way as you complete games like four minutes or under, matches come by pretty quick because there's not really much in the way of MMR that kind of reduce the amount of players in your pool that you can play with. And it's just a fun, chill way to just kind of blow stuff up while you're just kind of chilling, grinding out XP. Uh, I think I might be just doing this on stream where it might be almost like a just chatting basically, but playing bot bootcamp just like with a double XP boost on just to grind through the battle pass. It'd be super easy. Now this almost feels like a cheat code in a way. So I will keep an eye on it if any changes do come with this. Cause I do feel like 343 will likely change the XP earn rates for at least bot bootcamp because it's really like a cheat code. We had some leaked images of the new maps coming for season three and beyond guys. If you want to see what those maps look like, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.